going on guys? My name is Ted Carr. Thanks so much for tuning in. I just want to say that the reason I make videos on this channel in the first place is to share with you what worked to help me become the person I am today. And I, the person I am today is drastically different than the person that I was eight years ago when I started this channel. The person I am today is unrecognizable compared to the person that I was when I first started making YouTube videos about eight years ago. I'm not sure how old this channel is, but I definitely started making YouTube videos about eight or nine years ago. And the reason I started making YouTube videos was first I just wanted to get videos off of my computer onto the internet so that in case my computer got wiped, I would at least have a backup. Then I started realizing that, hey, I can actually share a thought. I can actually come up with an insight or have an epiphany and then share that on YouTube and then maybe other people can relate to that. Maybe someone can get something from that, can benefit from that. Because I know in my own life, when other people share what works for them, I'm like, wow, maybe it'll work for me too, I'll try that. And so this whole YouTube thing is a bit of an experiment. I'm like, hey, let's just express myself on YouTube here and see what sticks, see what people like, and see, see how I like to flow. Um, but a, a question was brought up to me recently, and that was, what would my life look like now had I not gone vegan? What would my life look like now had I not started eating a fruitarian diet? What would my life look like now had I not even started a YouTube channel? And I can tell you that I don't know what it would look like. I honestly don't know what it would look like. It could be very similar to how it is now, but um, I have a feeling that had I not gone vegan, I would have stayed around the same old crew. I would have stuck to the same kids I went to high school with because I'll just look on Facebook and all the kids I went to high school with are still hanging out with all the kids that they went to high school with. Like when I go back to Canada, my, my, old, my old crew there, the old, my, old, uh, my old gang back home, they're still all together, you know, they're still drinking, they're still eating meat, they're still going out partying, they're still working their, their 9 to 5 job, or they're working some trade job like as plumbers or carpenters or whatnot. And that's cool, they have fun, they, they enjoy themselves when they're around each other for sure. But there's definitely a lot of substance um, intake going on there, there's definitely a lot of late nights, there's definitely a lot of, um, you know, mischief that these, that these people get up to. And that's, that's fine, that's the way they like to live. And I thought that that's all my life was going towards as well. But now as you look around, you can see all this fruit here. And like my life is just so fruit focused. Right? I'm so focused on the fruit. And the fruit is really just the beginning. The fruit's just the beginning. So I started getting on the fruit, fruit diet because my acne was so bad. My skin, my chest, and my back was littered. It was a mountainous terrain of acne, of zits. Big juicy ones. I just love to pop and pop and just pop. And it was gross. And then I was like, I need to do something about this. So I tried everything, tried everything, tried everything, and nothing was working. And then finally, I found the fruit diet. And it just, within a couple weeks, it was like, boom, acne cleared up for good. And I was like, oh my god, this stuff is so freaking powerful, man. I was almost in tears when I looked in the reflection of the mirror. And I was like, oh my god, the acne's gone. It was just amazing. So now, or once the acne went away, I was like, okay, well, what's next? Like, what? Am I going to stick with this diet now that acne is gone? Am I going to go back to eating how I was eating? And the answer was, hell no, I'm not going back to how I was eating because I feel so good now. And when you eat high vibrational foods, you experience high vibrational moods. And so this was really the, 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 the birth of fruit living on YouTube. I just wanted to share with you what it's like to live on fruit. This channel is, is fruit living. It's like, man, when you eat in line with nature's design, you'll eat from the vine and feel divine. And it works every time. It's... It's just something that I really love to share with people. But it's just the beginning. Raw food is just the beginning. Once you clean up your diet, you're going to want to start cleaning up your relationships. You're going to want to start cleaning up your house. You're going to want to clean up your environment around you. You're going to want to clean up your thoughts. And so I started getting into audiobooks to change my thoughts. And I would listen to an audiobook and I would feel so good about what, about what I was listening to. And when I would take the audiobook out, I would look at the world differently. I would feel very differently about the world that I was existing in. And I'd go about my day and my days would be different all because I listened to that audiobook. And the next morning I wake up and maybe I wouldn't listen to the audiobook. And I'd be like, oh, my day's kind of back to normal. My reality is like, oh man, I'm not looking forward to this. I'm not looking forward to that. I'm not really feeling optimistic about the future. And I'm like, I need, I need something, man. So I listen to the audiobook again. Boom. New perspective, fresh perspective, positive perspective. Had a positive influence on my life happening, going in my ears. And so the way I saw the world changed and then my actions changed as a result of seeing the world differently. And so these little, these little tweaks, these little life hacks, they worked for me. The fruit diet worked for me. These, these audiobooks, they worked for me. Meditating really works for me. 
um, need cold showers that work for me. Working out, doing, doing pull-ups, doing squats, doing cardio, doing some running, doing some rowing, uh, deadlifts, bench press. It works for me. It feels so good. Hanging out with people, connecting with people, both physically and, and, and intellectually, it really works for me. And I just, this channel is here to be a reminder to you that if you're not feeling your best, or if you're not feeling 10 out of 10, if you're not even feeling like a 7 out of 10, if you're feeling like below a 5 out of 10, there are things you can do right now, like right now, that'll make you feel to a 6 out of 10, or 7 out of 10, 8 out of 10. It'll just tweak you a little higher, a little higher, a little higher. There are things you can do to raise your vibration. And the one thing that really works for me every single time is if I set a timer on my phone for two minutes, 120 seconds, and for the two minutes that it's counting down, I'm saying thank you, 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 thank you. I just start becoming very, very grateful. That works for me every single time. That'll take me from like a five to an eight real fast. Another thing that really works is just having a cold shower. Yeah, just having getting in the cold shower, trying cranking it, getting really, really cold, feeling. Oh my god, trying to stay warm in the cold shower. That works. And then just. Maybe making a YouTube video like this. Whenever I create content, whenever I express, then afterwards I feel so good. It's like a big load just been lifted off my shoulder. I feel so freaking good after making after making a YouTube video, which is why I keep coming back and back and back and keep uploading YouTube videos. People say like making vlogs is addicting. It is because you get to express yourself, and when you express, you're not suppressing. Expression is the opposite of suppression. And uh, if you're not expressing, then you're suppressing, and suppression turns to depression, depression turns to disease, and disease turns to disintegration. So you want to reverse that trend, you want to focus on the expression. Uh, you can express yourself in various ways by talking on camera, or painting, or drawing, or singing, or just even going to the gym and working out. There's so many ways of expressing yourself. Um, but back to the initial question of where I would be had I not gone vegan, or had I not gone raw, had I not started making YouTube videos, I think I would have continued to just feel the way I was feeling during my, 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 during my teenage years, which was unfulfilled, which was confused, which was full of anxiety, which was dependent on drugs and alcohol and cooked food. You know, I definitely would still be eating a bunch of crap, I weigh a lot more than I weigh now. And I just wouldn't be standing here talking with you, telling you that your life can be amazing if you just focus on a few things and, and make them work for you each and every day. Uh, I used to have a stuttering problem, and when I went raw vegan, that stutter went away. I cook, 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 did, 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 didn't talk without st d d d stuttering. And it was so pain painful that it was embarrassing to talk. It was so embarrassing to talk. And when I went raw vegan, that stutter went away. And just like it was so embarrassing for me to take my shirt off because my acne, when I, went, when I went raw vegan, after a couple weeks, that went away as well. And so. These breakthroughs I've had, I just I want to I want to share them with you guys here on YouTube. Um, you'll notice every now and then I still stutter a bit uh, when I do edit my videos. I edit them out sometimes, but um, for the most part, I just like to do free flow videos like this. But uh, yeah, so this, there's some still stuttering happening in the back of my head, and sometimes like when I used to pick up the phone to call someone, like I'd call my friend or whatever, and he'd be like, "Hey man, what's going on?" I'd be like, I'd just hang up because I couldn't answer the phone. So embarrassing. And so I call back and he'd be like, Ted? And I'd be like, Yeah, sorry, man, I don't know what happened there. My phone probably disconnected or something. But whatever. Um, there are things that I had to overcome to get to where I am now. And the last point I want to make here on this video is that if you go raw vegan, if you become a raw vegan, if you start eating more raw fruits and vegetables, or if you start making a YouTube channel, you don't know where it's going to lead. But you start it because it's exciting. Do things because they're exciting. If someone invites you to a party and you don't want to go because you're not excited to go, don't go. You don't need to go. But if you're really excited to go and you don't know why you're excited but you just want to go, go to the party. Have fun. If making YouTube videos for you is exciting, make YouTube videos. If eating more raw fruits and vegetables is exciting for you and getting off cooked foods is very exciting for you, do that. I invite you. I would invite you. I would encourage you to eat more raw fruits and vegetables at the exclusion of cooked food. But do it because it's exciting, not because you think you should do it and not because someone's telling you to do it. Keep watching these videos if they're exciting for you. And in fact, I would encourage you to rewatch old videos of mine or rewatch old videos of other people that you think are really good. Because if you watch a video once and it makes you feel good, watch it again because it's going to make you feel good again, I promise. If you watch a video once and you're like, yes, that pumped me up, I'm going to go rock out, I'm going to go live my life now, thank you so much for this video. 
but then you never come back and watch that video again, that would be like eating the best fruit ever and then never returning to eat that food again. Because you're like, oh, I already ate that best ever cantaloupe. I'm not going to have it again. But come back to that cantaloupe. Have it again. Come back to the persimmon. Come back to the apple banana. Come back to that amazing avocado. If it's serving you, come back and have it again. I'm, I'm listening to the same audiobooks now as I was five, six years ago because they're the audiobooks that were responsible for getting me out of a big slump. They're the audiobooks that were responsible for making me think brand new thoughts and starting to create content in the first place. And they're the audiobooks I return to time and time again because they bring me up a level and they make me want to better myself and they make me want to... They just remind me that, hey, you can launch off, you can shoot off like a rocket if you put your focus in the right place. So, uh, yeah, there's so many other things I could talk about in this video, but the point is, I don't know where I'd be if I wasn't vegan or raw vegan or making YouTube videos, but I can sure as hell say that I wouldn't be right here, right now, standing, talking with you on camera. And this is where I love to be. There's no other place on the planet I'd love to be than right here, talking with you right now. So thank you so much for watching. If you're not subscribed already, be sure to hit the red subscribe button down below. And if you like these videos, share them with your friends, share them with your family, and, uh, if you want to leave a nice comment, you can leave a nice comment down below. I read every single comment. Some of them I don't accept because they're not super nice comments. Some of them get marked as spam, so I don't see them for a little while longer. Um, and some of them get flagged, so they take a little while to show up or something. But I definitely read every single comment, so just so you guys know that. And uh, yeah, but in the future, I'm looking f looking for someone to help me out with some comments, help me out with some, you know, reviewing the comments and whatnot. So if you guys want to help out. Um, shoot me a message somewhere and uh, we'll talk. And also, I'm, uh, I'm working on an app right now. If you watch this far into the video, then thank you so much. Um, it means that you know you care about the content I produce. And right now I'm trying to produce an app, I'm trying to create an app that uh, helps people connect with one another to learn things. And I'm looking for a live-in programmer. So someone that wants to come live with me for 30 days and help program the app with me. And um, yeah, I'm willing to um, you know give up equity for it. I'm willing to, you know, give some of the co-founder title if they want to work on this app with me full on, go all in with it. Um, ideally it's someone who is in line with all my values, someone who obviously loves the app as well, of course. Um, so if you're interested in that as well, then send me a message. Find a way of sending me a message and I will get back to you and we can set up a Skype conversation and talk or whatever. But I'm looking for people who already have some experience with programming in Laravel and uh, someone who has a portfolio perhaps. Um, or someone who just wants to develop an iOS app as well, who has a portfolio with that. So, anyways, thanks so much for watching again. Peace out from Hilo, Hawaii. Much love.